Welcome. In this session, we are going to see about uh, synchronous motors. See, we are going to see uh, different types of synchronous motors, construction, working, advantage, disadvantage, and the application of uh, synchronous motors. When a three-phase supply is given to a three-phase alternator, then it will work as a, a motor. When the speed, when the speed of the alternator uh, is around the synchronous speed. For example, if you take uh, 1500 rpm, it is at the synchronous speed, then we will call it as a synchronous generator. If the alternator runs as a motor, then it will rotate at the same synchronous speed as that of the alternator. So, such a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy and always runs at synchronous speed is called as the synchronous motor. So, it is a device which converts electric energy into mechanical energy which always runs at synchronous speed is called as the synchronous motor. The synchronous speed works only at the synchronous speed and it cannot work at the speed other than the synchronous speed. Uh, also, if we increase the load, if we increase the load, there will be a, a slight modification in the speed. The speed may slightly vary but uh, after some constant time, um, it will again run at the uh, synchronous speed ms coming to the types of synchronous motor we will be having a three phase synchronous motor and single phase synchronous motor the single phase synchronous motor is also further divided into special motors called as electrons motor and the hysteresis motor the basic principle of a synchronous motor is the concept of rotating magnetic field rmf this field produced by a stationary three-phase winding, as we seen in the three-phase induction motor, rotates in the space and it is called as the rotating magnetic field. The speed of the rotating magnetic field is given by 120F divided by P, where P is the number of poles on which the winding is bounded and F is the supply frequency. Uh, this we already seen in the three-phase induction motor. Construction of a three-phase uh, synchronous motor there is no difference between the construction between the alternator and the motor. And both are uh, synchronous machines. Mainly it consists of two parts. One is the stator and another one is the rotor. The stator has the, this here, this is the stator, the stationary part. The stator has the three-phase supply, either it will be in the star or delta current. Then comes the rotor. Rotor is the field wind. See here, uh, this one is the field wind. You can see here field winding. Either uh, the poles may be projected or it may be in the uh, cylindrical type. Mostly projected pole types are mainly used as shown in this diagram. This, uh, this rotor is excited by a separately excited uh, DC supply or through the uh, slip rings. Through the slip rings it can be excited. Then comes the uh, working of three phase synchronous motor. The basic principle is nothing but the magnetic clock. Magnetic clock. You see, when two unlike poles, when two unlike poles of a magnet come in contact with each other, there will be a tremendous force of attraction between these two. When the electromagnetic current is very high, the force of attraction will also be uh, very high. If one magnet rotates, if you see in this diagram number B, take this as diagram number A, if you see in this diagram number B, uh, if one uh, magnet rotates, the other also will have the tendency to rotate in the same direction with the same speed uh, since there is a, a lock between these two. This is called as the magnetic locking condition. Here we are giving three phase supply, we will be having uh, two poles, north pole and south pole. Because of this three phase supply, there will be a flux produced flowing in this region. Now. See if you take this as the motor, this is the stator and inside this we will be having a uh, rotor. Okay. This stator is supplied, uh, the conductors present in the stator is supplied by a three phase supply. So because of this uh, supply, there will be a current flow and flux is produced. This flux is nothing but the rotating magnetic field which rotates at the speed of uh, ns which is the synchronous speed 
This rotating magnetic field will produce the same effect as that as we discussed in these two uh, diodes. So this NS will also rotate at the speed of 120F divided by P as shown here. Coming to the actual working of three phase synchronous motor, um, consider, consider um, the stator poles are N1 and S1 as shown in the diagram. See N1 and S1 and they are rotating in the clockwise direction. Clockwise with the speed of Ns. We know this formula for Ns. It is initially rotating. Initially we are taking this rotor as stationary. So since the rotor poles are excited, they will be having uh, two poles in this N2 and S2. As this N1 and S1 rotates at the speed of uh, Ns, uh, these two uh, N2 and S2 will not be able to uh, catch up with the N1 and S1 because of inertia. Because of uh, inertia uh, at rest, uh, because of uh, inertia, these two poles will not be able to catch up with the uh, poles N1 and S1. So there won't be any magnetic locking happening at the initial stage. Also, after off, off cycle, uh, there is an interchange of poles. You see here, S1 will come here, uh, N1 will uh, come here. So, uh, this rotor must be more quick to attract towards the uh, poles. But uh, because of inertia, it is not possible. Also, because of the speed, it is quite impossible to make the magnetic lock. So, this synchronous motor, synchronous motor is not a self-starting motor is not a self-starting motor so some modification or uh, somehow we have to uh, rotate this uh, rotor to come in contact with the stationary poles so that uh, magnetic locking takes place once the magnetic locking takes place the motor the rotor will rotate at the speed of rotating magnetic field so there is a procedure to uh, start a synchronous motor. Uh, so we will see what is the procedure to start the uh, synchronous motor. Initially, we must give a three phase supply. Initially, we must give a three phase uh, supply to the stator uh, to produce the rotating magnetic field which rotates at the speed of Ns. Second is, you have to drive the rotor, drive the rotor by somehow, by, by somehow, by using the external means like uh, diesel or uh, diesel generator or uh, you may have uh, a small type of motor, small motors. Somehow we must drive the rotor in the same direction, in the same uh, direction of that of the uh, stator um, to match, to match the speed, to match the speed nearer to that of the uh, synchronous speed. So you must match the speed of the rotor nearer to that of the synchronous speed approximately. Then the third point is the uh, after matching the speed, now switch on the excitation of the uh, rotor conductors. So the DC supply is, give, is given uh, to the uh, rotor uh, to produce the ports, to produce uh, ports. Here in the case it is N2 and S2. After some period, see if you make uh, this possible, after some period, um, both the fields, both the fields will be magnetically locked. Both the fields will be magnetically locked. So uh, in other words, we can say uh, both the fields will be pulled into synchronization. Synchronization. Uh, then remove the external device. This is how uh, you, you must uh, start the three phase uh, synchronous motor. After starting, we can remove the external device so that after some period uh, the rotor rotates at the um, synchronous speed itself as that of the rotating magnetic field.
there are some methods to start the synchronous model one is using a small type of motors or uh, using a damper winding so along with the uh, actual winding of the rotor you will be having the damper winding you can also use a slippery induction motor uh, to start the uh, synchronous motor then you can use a small dc machine which can be coupled to the actual shaft of the uh, synchronous motor these are the four ways that you can uh, start a uh, three phase synchronous motor so what will be the comparison between three phase synchronous motor and the induction machine see induction motor the construction is quite complicated but in induction motor is very very simple synchronous motor is not a self starting motor but uh, induction motor will be having a rotating magnetic field it is a self starting motor in synchronous motor we require a separate dc source but uh, here uh, in induction motor is not necessary the speed will be always synchronous here but uh, uh, speed will be always less than the synchronous speed speed control is totally impossible in synchronous motor but uh, uh, induction motor is possible but uh, it is quite difficult because it's a constant speed motor as the load increases even though the load increases the speed remains constant here the load increases speed will uh, decrease then the motor is more costly uh, and it requires frequent maintenance here in induction motor the motor is very very cheap and it is maintenance free and uh, we have more amount of difference um, that you can actually go through then comes the advantage and disadvantage advantage is high efficiency at high speeds uh, maintenance is also easy full torque it provides uh, full torque at low speed and it is reliable and it gives a smooth operation disadvantage is more expensive you require additional uh, motors to start the starting is quite difficult some of the applications are uh, air conditioning and compressors mainly used for uh, power factor improvement mainly used for power factor improvement as a condenser then uh, it can be used in uh, servo drives robotics and aerospace applications thank you we will see in the next session